What's up, nerdlings? What are you doing? Zelda. But it's VGM time. Yeah. Yeah, it's game time. Put your shirt on. You're the one always demanding that I film. Mm. Put the shirt on. on. All the way. All right, nerdlings, it's... Seriously, that's all you're going to put the shirt on? It's, it's on! Dude, you know I can't open these like you do. Mm. Do you not want to see your games? This video game's monthly. It's monthly subscription box to send the games to your door. Retro games, you pick a list of what consoles you have and everything. Let's take a look what's inside. She gets the bubble wrap. She gets the toy. Oh. What's what's the toy? It's a Mario squeezy thing. Ah, my eye. <laughs> squeezy thing. Ah, my eye. That's Military a... Mario. He <laughs> got dog tag apparently. <laughs> dog tag Mario. <laughs> Ah, my eye! Cards remind you, update your list so you don't get duplicates. Hey look, we got a one up! Bing! Why are you going so fast? So I'm gonna play some more Zelda time. Sega Genesis game. It's the Ren and Stimpy show, but then it's called Stimpy's Invention. Oh. So quick question, did you ever watch Ren and Stimpy? I did. Did you? I did, actually. I'm surprised. It doesn't seem like you're kind of a cartoon. It really like it's, wasn't, it's but there wasn't anything else on at the time. Well. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, oh, this is cool. So we got some more Game Boy Advance games. Ooh, The Incredibles, The Rise of the Underminer. So what I always liked about the idea of this was that they basically made a game sequel to the way the first movie ended. And I do like the GBA games. So let's see how cool this looks. Wait, wait, was that? Was that and just another GBA game, although... I might have been a little slow updating my list because this is Square Bob Sponge Pants. What? Uh, lights, camera, pants. So we're just going to skip that because that's actually a duplicate, but that's probably on me. And I wonder why is that? Linky, you're back. Hi, Mommy. What? What? Maybe a little bit of Zelda and didn't get it in my box in time. Okay, so the last game in the box, Super Nintendo. I like the Super Nintendo games. This is Faceball. So this is an extraordinary first person shooter in which you live in a post-apocalyptic world and the Walmart smiley faces have taken over and you're leading the resistance. Let's take a look. <laughs> You went so fast, like, I didn't even get to talk this video. Why are you going so fast? Because it's Zelda time. Speaking of, now that that box is done, I'm It's going... not done, because someone's been playing a little box. too much Zelda. Because, look. You were behind two months. Okay. Okay. You're behind two months. No. I'm on top of things. My list was updated. You even ripped the box! I really did rip into this one. <laughs> hey, look at that. You got some more bubble wrap. wrap. Hey, look at that. Another reminder. And... Oh, a one-up. Take that, Tony. <laughs> oh, a sticker to match my shirt. Your there. retro AF that you won't wear. You can see it. Speaking of Tony, 
Angry Baby's name is... Maverick. Oh, Top Gun. On the GameCube. Nice. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we do love to get some GameCube games to add to our library. I mean, we're no retro wolf in that regard. Well, it's no manual, but it is an actual GameCube uh, case. Nice. Let's see if this looks just like the Top Gun movies. Okay, that's not a Top Gun airplane. That, that's pretty close. Check this out. Midway's greatest arcade hits on the GBA. So we love our compilation stuff. Now you can have it in handheld form. So you can take it wherever you want to go. Like if you're exploring Hyrule in the sky or in the depths. I don't think that's where that game was going. This one, uh, being a GBA game, it's as small as a Matchbox car, which is great because it's a Matchbox. Air, land, sea, rescue, emergency, response, there's mission. I think there's a lot of words on there. You want to see what this one looks like? Sure. Okay, just like that was not a Top Gun plane, that was not a Matchbox car. It's, it's close enough, it's close enough. And the last one, nice, another Super Nintendo game, and it's Wild Snake. I know what you do with a Wild Snake. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> it is by Alexi Last Name. Definitely gonna make the robot go off. The creator of Tetris, so man who created Tetris brought us another puzzle game Ooh, I in the see form that movie. of Wild Snake. So let's see what Wild Snake looks like. That's, that, that's not a snake. <laughs> Those are some cool looking games. <laughs> hey, you guys no. should totally uh, go over to, to Video James Barnling and make sure that you uh, subscribe. And why, don't you, why don't you just go play your game? I think I will go play my game. I think you should probably game. go play your game. All right, sweet. Ooh. I'm going to take this Gliok on. I got this. Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, nerdlings. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TeePublic has really great shirts. We're also on the TikToks. Um, if we like it, we nerd it, obviously, but I don't even know why I'm doing this video because clearly it's not going to get edited because somebody's a little too busy. He killed me. I didn't have enough food ready. I gotta go cook some foods. What did I tell you before you went and fought him? I don't, I don't know what to do by myself. Yeah. I think I'm I think I'm gonna go play Disney Dreamlight now. Or something. Bye. Take a drink and find out. <laughs> so glad I already started it. Mic check, Tom, <laughs> mic check. Mic check, Lacey, mic check. I don't really look at the game room from this angle <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, oh no, Deadpool down. You're still here? It's over. Boxes are open. Go home. Play some Zelda. <laughs>